Hello everyone, this is Ann Martin Fry. I am the founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence Inc. And I want to reflect more on um, on some things, um, factual items that I had mentioned I was going to uh, cover in this next uh, video. Um, as I was stating earlier, it is a fact that this system does come through roughly approximately every 3,600 years. It is a long elliptical orbit. It's not like our orbit. It is an elliptical orbit and it, um, it takes, uh, it like slingshots around our sun. And when it does that, it's going to go back to the other end, which is going to take, I guess what, like 1800 years just to go to that side and another 1800 to come back. So that's like 3,600 years. Um, it's a centrifugal force that it needs to break its, um, it's a uh, tug of war with our sun, but when it goes by, it's going to throw us through a loop. It has happened before. They have found it. They, um, back when the dinosaurs and the woolly mammoths were here on this earth, that was what came through that caused the pole shift because they found up in Siberia, the woolly mammoths, and the woolly mammoths were frozen so quickly they were in the middle of eating and the food was literally still in their system still in their mouths they were eating they were flash frozen so quickly that they have even in excavations in siberia they have found them uh, even a, like what they consider to be a baby which to us would be huge but they found uh, just about intact baby woolly mammoths also, which are doing DNA. There's a collaboration between, I believe it is South Korea and the United States and possibly even other countries where they've been exca excavating up there and, and they're, they're like um, falling out the um, frozen, I think it's called frozen Permia. Uh, I've learned this, I've seen this on Globetrotter, which is PBS. I've also seen it. Josh Gates has done, a, that man is so funny. Josh Gates even did a show on it and um, showed how they're doing it with the DNA and how he, how long it took just for them to get up the river and his, his trip and, and everything. So, uh, it has happened. It happened in the time of Noah. Noah, uh, and this is something else I'll get into later. Uh, Noah had infor got information, not necessarily as they state in the Bible, as the Bible claims, but Noah did get information um, from a source. Let me put it that way. Noah got information from a source that there, and that there was going to be a catastrophe on the earth, that it was going to be flooded. And, and for him to be taking care of his family and animals. And um, I understand that it was also um, the time of Moses, when Moses was crossing the Red Sea. Um, and I know I might get a lot of haters off of this information, but when all the truth is finally disclosed, you'll be saying, wow, you know, this has taken me a lot of time of research. Um, during the time of Moses, uh, with the uh, Exodus also, um, the United States and their space program the United States let me find the right way to say this and being respectful because I love my country I love the United States I am an American and I consider myself to be a truther and a patriot I really do and um, the United States 
back in the 70s, as most most, pe most people of my age remember, the um, NASA sent probes. They sent Voyager, and there was another one, and it was sent way out there. And the reason it was sent way out there is because they were looking for this system to come, and they found it. Then Hubble went up. They put the Hubble up. They put the Hubble up, and Hubble has been looking for it. The Vatican, as many people know also, has um, has an observatory in the United States here, and they're also looking for it because they know that they're going to be in deep kimchi <laughs> when, um, when the truth comes out. So um, I wanted to get that information out. Um, there's a lot more, there is a lot more, so much more. Um, I'm saying, telling everybody, I'm, I'm not disclosing, I'm passing this information on because I get my information from people like um, J.R. Moore, the Liberty Man, uh, Rex Bear on Leak Project, um, Gil Brizard, I listen to Gil Brizard and... Um, and he is like one of the top people uh, with the research of this. Uh, there are numerous pictures that you can catch because people, uh, people have been smart enough um, to, in the Southern Hemisphere, they can catch it at certain hours. They can catch it at certain hours uh, just before dawn and it is a brown dwarf and it's um the because you can't see the radiation of it they're using welders masks and um and welders glasses and that's how they're capturing it with their camera systems and video equipment and uh, they're using it as a filter and uh, i've seen some phenomenal pictures I've shared some stuff that I've um, uh, acquired uh, looking on NASA's SDO um, observatory on the live feed. And now all of a sudden, um, their system today has been down for over 10 hours. Um, you can't even get, I'm not the only one that can't get on. There's other people also that have been mentioning that they've been trying to get on today and they can't even get on on there. Um, there's some great people out there. I am not the only one. I just, I want everybody to be safe. We need to be safe. We need to be provided the opportunity to take care of ourselves. Um, come tomorrow or the next day, or oh, not Thanksgiving, I'm sorry, not Thanksgiving. Uh, we're spending it with family with John's family. Um, I'm going to be sharing more. Um, I'm going to get some more information out. I don't know exactly what I'm going to share yet, but I want everybody to be safe. We all need to have a heads up. It's, it's my duty as a human being my duty if you know you know what the government what do they say if you know see something say something and you know what i have information and i'm getting the information out if any if you folks can just put a overnight bag together just put an overnight bag together and keep it in a little space off to the side if you have your pets keep their um carriers handy close along with um pet food and records just like you're getting ready for a hurricane have your important papers together in a spot with all your, with a spare bag of clothes and stuff like that. And yes, that's what's called a bug out bag. Medications, your medications, everything like that. So I'm going to leave it at that. Be nice to each other. I want to wish everybody a beautiful and grateful Thanksgiving. 
I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my sobriety. I'm grateful to be clean and sober. I just celebrated another, an additional clean and sober birthday. And I can thank nobody but my great, but the great spirit. And I want to thank everybody for your support. As I uh, just found out that I am experiencing early signs of Parkinson's and, um, I'm searching for a new neurologist because I do have epilepsy also, diabetes, epilepsy. Ugh, what a mess. But you know what? I can, I can, I can face everything today. I'm an, I'm a good person today. Everybody has done bad in their lives. But if you decide you want to make changes, you can do it. If I change, other people can change. I'm not the only one. So thank you, everyone, and good night.